Hey everyone, it's Will with ManufacturedHomes.com and thank you for clicking on this video and joining me today here on Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours. And yes, you've guessed it, we are still here at the 2023 Louisville Manufactured Home Show and we're going to take a tour of another great home that they have here on display. This home right here, this is the Cornerstone 2868 built by Champion Homes. This home comes from the Foundation Series, and the dimensions of the home is a 28 by 68. This is a 3 bed, 2 bath, at 1,813 square feet. The price for a home like this is somewhere around the $160,000 range. So, let's go take a home tour. Where's Will? Welcome back everybody. I hope you are having a fantastic day. But you know what the first thing I notice walking into this home is that floating entertainment center. I'm liking that. And then those two big windows right there and the beams up top. I'm loving this aesthetic already in this living room. You know, taking a look at that floating entertainment center, I like the uh, the shelves off there to the left hand side. And it looks like it has plenty of room for like all your peripherals, your video game systems, your cable box and whatever. So that's pretty cool. I'm liking that already. Um, just to let you guys know, this home right here is a, uh, a hybrid um, sheet rock home. So half of the home is sheet rock in a lot of the living areas. And some of the non-living areas, like your closets and maybe some restrooms, that's going to be board and batten. So we're going to take a look at that. I'm um, walking into the dining room area right here. This is nice. I kind of like the semi-separation in this open floor plan. It's a little different. It's a little nice. I'm loving that. Just to let you know, the living room size is 19 feet, 9 inches by 12 feet, six inches that's actually a pretty decent amount of uh, room for a living room already walking in and then coming into this kitchen we have a little nice coffee nook right here um with a couple of floating shelves i'm digging that i like that a um, nice little area you have you know some storage underneath for all of your 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 stuff for, you know creamers and stuff for your coffee which is really cool or even your teas um spinning all the way around here this island it's kind of big, but it's not too big and cumbersome. I like it. I'm loving the lights there. I'm loving the uh, style of those light fixtures. I'm really digging that. And then this home, we have a, um, a Whirlpool stainless steel package here. Uh, half black, half stainless steel. The quality construction here, you take a look. That's pretty good up in there. Um, and then nice farmhouse sink with the cutting board and the strainer and everything else and even down here the storage really good great amount of room storage for your stuff here and we even have a pantry here we're going to take a look at in a second so it's really cool good little window right above your sink there i'm liking the uh, the countertops i like that color design there good choice we have can lights throughout the entire home like I said, three wire shelves in your uh, pantry here. I wouldn't mind a few more shelves on that back wall personally, but we can always add that later, right? We have some uh, the Whirlpool French door refrigerators. Nice, nicely situated in the kitchen too, I would have to say. Now let's go take a look at some of the guest areas here. Now this home seems a little unassuming, I mean at 1800 square feet, but if we go back here we even have a huge family room. The family room size here is 21 feet 3 inches by 12 feet 6 inches and it has that nice accent wall that you saw over by the entertainment center so that's nice. In here, fully sheet rock. We got eight foot um, ceilings in this home. And if you want to know more about the uh, features, amenities, and everything else, there's a link in the description below. Click on that. It'll take you directly to this floor plan. You can take a look at some more photos, videos, and most importantly, get pricing directly from a retailer near you. And now we are going in, of course, to the first guest room. This first guest room is the bigger of the two. This is the 11, uh, f excuse me, nine, 10 feet. 3 inches by 12 feet 6 inches. Nice little closet in here. Wire shelving. And there's some of that VOG we're talking about there. That uh, board and batten. 
pretty nice. I'm loving the um, the trim around the house. This dark trim actually lends nice, you know, some nice color contrast to everything here. And then we're in the uh, second guest room. This uh, this one is nine feet eleven inches by twelve feet six inches. Not too far off of the other one, but it is just a touch smaller. And these closets, you know, they, they seem small, but they, they hold a lot of stuff. They really do. Really nice. Now, you see the registers there on the floor, so your air conditioning heater are coming off of the, uh, the floor. So, just to let you know that. Let's take a look at our... Um, all right, everybody, let's take a look at the uh, guest bath here. We have a black single vanity countertop design there with our... See, no, uh, like I was saying there, we have our VOG in the bathroom, so it's not too bad there. This is a 30 by 60 shower tub combo, of course. Going to spin around. It's a decent size for your for your guest bath here. We have elongated toilets right behind the uh, the door there. Good amount of storage underneath. And can lights in here to give you your lighting. So All right. now let's go in and take a look at our mudroom laundry room area here. Good amount of uh, size here on the uh, left hand side for your washer dryer, and even leaves a little more room for something else that you might want to put in there. And then looking in here, we have a coat closet with, of course, your water heater access right in here. Right next to that, of course, you have your electrical box and right behind there is your air conditioning unit so at least here everything is in your mudroom and um, laundry room so it makes that a little bit easier so what do you guys think about the home so far would you change anything would you move anything tell me all about it and you know if you haven't had a chance yet hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so then that way you'll always know when a new home tour is posted and you can follow along on this crazy journey of ours so walking in to the primary right here those are some different floor plans that come along with the foundation series so hit that link in the description below and learn a little more about the series the uh, size of this primary is 12 feet 6 inches by 12 feet 6 inches almost a perfect square off by a, a little inch there you have a nice big window for that natural light and then a nice little walk-in closet with plenty of room we have the board and batten in here like we were saying of course Good amount of room, good amount of room. All right. This is a great sized uh, primary room. I mean, so far this house, the size inside has kind of surprised me. I didn't expect to see this much room in here. And now we're walking in here. We have a lighter touch on the countertops for your dual vanity there. And uh, same beautiful accent wooden wall there with a soaker tub. Look at that. That's nice. I'm loving the floating shelves there. Nice little getaway here. Pretty nice. What do you guys think about it? Let me know. See, that's nice. That's good. Plenty of space. Plenty of room. And then, don't forget, it also comes with a 36-inch stand-up shower in case you don't have time to just sit there and enjoy yourself in that soaker tub so good good and then you have your elongated toilet right off there right in between your shower and soaker tub so that's where that's situated all in all nice nice primary bath Nice home overall. I, I dug it. I appreciated it. Um, I like what Champion's doing. You know, um, this is a mid-level home for anybody who might be needing some extra space. You know, bigger families, et cetera, et cetera. You know, take a look. But thank you for joining me today, everybody. I truly appreciate your support, and I hope to see you again on the next home tour, wherever I'm going to be driving to. But until then, remember to live smarter, choose manufactured, have a wonderful day, and travel easy.